Have you ever been in a position where maybe it's friends or family, they told you, you know what, hey, maybe that's not the best move for you. Maybe you should try something else. Maybe you should do something else. Maybe you should try a different career or do this with your money or that with your money or not date this person or date this person. And they gave you this great advice, but you didn't listen. Or maybe you did listen and it didn't work out. My name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today's video is why listening to others will cause you to fail. Okay, and so I want to share this with you. I was on a run earlier today and I started thinking about it I was, as I was listening to this uh, audio and I started thinking about my own life and, and my clients and you know, after doing almost 18,000 coaching calls, you learn a thing or two, right? You start to see different patterns. You start to understand where people are going and, and whatnot. <clears throat> I started thinking about all the times in my life, like when I started Amway in network marketing, when I did some direct sales, and when I started professional coaching. And there was people along my journey, loved ones and friends that were like, you know what, hey, you don't wanna do network marketing, you don't wanna do Amway. And I didn't listen to them, and I, I went, and it helped me because I got birth into abundance, right? I started learning about personal development. I started learning about leadership and, and serving others and coaching other people. I wouldn't have learned that if I said no. And then I went into the direct sales, <clears throat> And I remember people saying, you're not a salesperson, you can connect, you're good, but you're not gonna be good at it, you know, you should do something a little bit more safe. And I learned how to connect with people. I learned to find their pain points. I learned to help close the deal. Now, am I the best closer in the world? Absolutely not, right? Um, but I did learn how to be able to support people making a decision that was right for them. Not for me, but for them, right? And sometimes the best decisions for them are the ones that I know are right for them, but they don't even know that's right for them because they're so afraid about the money that they're not seeing about how that's gonna improve the solution for them in their life. And then I, it was in a professional coaching. <clears throat> I'll share this one because this is a good one. Because like, I love talking to people. I love talking, period, right? Like, I love connecting with people. I love helping solve people's problems. And in professional coaching, and this is a reason why I'm doing this channel too, but in, in professional coaching, I was told like, well, you don't have great health insurance, right? You don't have health insurance as an entrepreneur and a professional coach. You gotta pay for it. Maybe you should go get a job that pays for that and has good benefits. And I'm like, ah. And these people, what I want to share is when they're saying those things, what they're doing is they're giving you their best intention, right? They're giving you the best intention. And also the other thing that they're telling you is that they're not willing to do that. They're not willing to get out of their comfort zone. They wouldn't do those things. I, didn't, I never saw a professional coach who's succeeding and said, don't do it. It's not fun. I've never seen that. I've never seen someone in direct sales that are crushing it and say, don't do it, it's not worth it. I've never seen anyone in network marketing making six figures or seven figures a month say, don't do it, it's not worth it. I've never seen that. <clears throat> And so people who are not willing to do those things, they're actually the ones that are telling you not to do it. Now their intention is pure, right? The, the family and the loved ones, their intention was pure. But I had to decode what they were really telling me and that was, it wasn't for them. And so I had to figure out what did I wanna do? Because every time I didn't listen to them, every time I didn't listen to a mentor, every time I didn't listen to someone in my life that truly cared about me and their intentions were pure, my life went in an entirely different direction. Now you could call that being stubborn, hard-headed, thick-headed, you know, whatever you want to call me, that's fine. But when I was almost $40,000 in credit card debt, broke, eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches with no job and hardly any income coming in, living in the house with six other people in the coldest room in the winter and the hottest in the summer, Something needed to change. Now, I know I take responsibility for getting myself in that position, but I also take responsibility for coming up with solutions. <clears throat> and eventually, I left my mentors. I left direct sales, and I went into professional coaching, which I chose, which people were telling me not to do. And for me, I got fulfilled. I loved helping people, I loved talking, and I learned I love making money and making an impact. So I got to make an income and an impact all at the same time. Everyone told me no. Some people were supportive here and there, but they didn't really know what that meant. But I started to think, every time I made that decision, when they said no, 
my life went up. My life went to that next level. And then it went up to the next level. And then the next level. And I was sharing with a friend, and maybe it was on Facebook today. <clears throat> I was sharing, you know, when, oh, I was sharing with a client today, actually. You know, when I was broke, living in a house with six other people, to making all those radical choices by not listening to anyone, right? Because when I listened to people, I failed. Right there, oh, go get a job. And I did, I went and worked for the F-18 program in Coronado for, and down in San Diego. You know, go back to school. Okay, so I went back to school. I got my bachelor's degree, cool. Didn't do anything with it. Then I went on to get my master's degree. The only thing that helped was that the military paid me to go to school, which kept me alive, right, like financially. And so I only got a master's degree because I got paid to go to school, which was awesome because I gave five years of my life to our country. And so, but when I went back to school and I listened to everyone, like nothing came of that. The only thing that says is like, just a cool sound, oh, I got my master's degree, whoa. You know, I hardly used any of it. Now, some concepts, yes, and some of the psychology component, absolutely. But it's not what's employing me or in you know fueling my entrepreneurship or anything that I do in my professional coaching uh, on a daily basis, at least. And so every time I listened, it set me back. It didn't allow me to accept Accelerate. And so I was basically failing. I was drowning. I was drowning in debt, drowning in where I thought I should be. And so when I started saying no, and I started saying, okay, what do I want? I was listening to myself. I was trusting myself. What lit me up when I felt like I was in alignment with where I was going? And it was like, let's do network marketing. <clears throat> and it opened up a bunch of doors. I said yes to direct sales and it opened up a bunch of doors and skill sets. And then I said yes to professional coaching, opened up a bunch of doors and skill sets. And over time, as my skill sets grew, as my belief changed, as I started listening to myself versus others, I started to climb my, not yours, my ladder of success. So I went from an 800 square foot apartment to almost a 4,000 square foot house that we built. I went from being $40,000 in credit card debt to making more than that in a month at certain months. I don't say this to impress you, I just say this to impress upon you that if you're listening to everyone around you, if they don't have what you want, truly want, the highest level of what you want, my guess is you're not succeeding at the level you want. And so you gotta stop listening to all those people around you. Now you might sit there and say, Joe, who do I listen to? Who you listen to are the people who ultimately have what you want. And usually I'm looking at one person in the different categories of my life. If I'm like wanting to go to the next level financially, I look at that one person and that's mastered the financials and I go to that. <clears throat> if I want my relationship with my wife to go to the next level, I have someone else I look up to and I model them. It, when I, it's my spiritual walk with God. I look at someone who I believe has an incredible relationship with God and understands his word and I model that. And so I look at these independent people. I don't look at one person for all of it. And so you might be watching this channel, this video, and you might be like, Joe, you know, I really love what you're saying and I look up to you and I'm forever grateful for that. But I'm not all the answers for you in every category of your life. And I don't want to be and nor will I ever be. And so I may have some good information about those different categories, but you want to find masters in those areas, one master in each area and model that. That's who you listen to, the people who the person who has ultimate success in that one area because I'll tell you I know people they've mastered the game of finances they they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars but phew, their relationships are like down the drain it's they're just poor right their character is poor and that's not what I want that's not what I want in my life that's not master life by design for me that's not the life that I'm designing what's the life that you want so if you're not where you want to be maybe instead of listening to others you should stop listening to that you'll watch your life change right I remember people saying you know oh you shouldn't date that girl or you shouldn't go out with these type of women and this and that and I didn't listen to them all right and oh you're never gonna find a girl here they're they're, they're not looking and Bam, met my wife at a Tony Robbins event. You know, thousands of people there. No woman would ever, you know, you're never gonna connect with a woman there. They're all there for Tony. Yeah, I pulled that cream of the crop from that one, baby. How about that? So anyway, stop listening to those around you that are saying no to what you're doing and start listening to people who've done what you've done and you're picking one of them in that category of your life and go get that. Start listening to them. If you listen to others, you're going to fail.
Okay, if you listen to others, you're going to fail because I'm sitting here <clears throat> and I see, I've coached people doing things that I would never in my life do. And if they ask me my personal opinion, I say, I don't think you should do that. That's not a good idea. And guess what happened? As I coached them through it, I didn't mentor them through it, as I coached them through it to help them discover what felt right for them and what was in alignment for them, guess what happened? They went out and crushed it. They went out and crushed it. And so you gotta be careful who you listen to. Most people, in the general terms, the most people, their intentions pure, they're trying to protect you, save you because they're not willing to do it. It's their baggage or it's their limitations that are being put on you. And if you listen to them, you could be passing up a God-given gift, a God-given idea, a God-given talent that you were given all because you listened to someone else and you didn't listen to your heart you didn't lis listen to the whisper of God for you so if you want to be successful if you want to go to the next level stop listening to those people around you because it's going to cause you to fail start listening to yourself your gut your intuition the whisper of God whatever you want to call it or that individual who has what you want and they're a master in that area and that's when the game's going to change because as I, li I stopped listening to so many people, my life went in an entirely different direction. I have a gorgeous wife. I feel like I'm at a great income level. I feel like I have a great relationship with my boys. I feel like I have made an impact with all my clients around the world. I feel like I'm living my life on my terms and I'm going to the next level. But I'm following me. I'm following my guidance after I pour decade plus of knowledge in me from those people, that one person in each of those areas. Now, let's be honest, I might have two, max three in certain areas, just there's so many great people that align with what I believe, what I think and my values and my spiritual beliefs, so I follow them. So if you have more than one, that's okay, but I would truly try and pick one, um, and if not, rank them. So if you're listening to others, it's probably why you're not succeeding at the level you want and you're failing where you know you could be. So with that, if you guys found value, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can get updates when these come out. And plus, I'd love to know, what do you think about this video? Comment below. Do you think I'm off? Do you think I'm cuckoo? Do you think I'm spot on? Um, really, what do you think? Because again, you, don't have, you shouldn't listen to me. I'm just giving you a perspective, a perspective. There's infinite perspectives out there. But if it resonates with you, it speaks with you, then you may want to take that in and stop listening to other people and go ahead and do what you're called to do, what you feel is in alignment for you. And watch when you make those decisions compounded over time, watch the direction in your life change to be more abundant, more prosperous, more successful. And I'm not just talking financially, relationally, physically, all of it. Watch the shift happen. So with that, hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.